Have you ever had a religious thought that's so bizarre and so bad that you, you could never tell anybody? And did that weird thought keep coming back and making you anxious to find a way to get rid of it? You're probably dealing with something called intrusive thoughts. Hi, my name is Jamie. I'm a scrupulosity coach, and I specialize in helping people overcome the chronic spiritual anxiety of religious OCD. If you've never heard of religious OCD before, that's totally okay because most people haven't. In fact, a lot of individuals have this idea that OCD is just like kind of some cute, quirky thing where people like to use a lot of hand sanitizer or they like to fix the, the picture frames that are off. Um, in actuality, obsessive compulsive disorder can manifest itself in many different forms and religion is just one of those forms. So when obsessive compulsive disorder it kind of parasitically clings to your spiritual experience, it's called religious OCD or also known as scrupulosity. One of the hallmark tendencies of people with scrupulosity is to get these really bad, nasty spiritual thoughts that seem to just pop out of nowhere and they cause a lot of distress and anxiety. And so when they get those thoughts, then they will start to do a lot of um, compulsive actions or mental acrobatics to try to neutralize or reverse or get rid of that thought. But usually it doesn't, it doesn't go away very easily, right? Um, if that sounds like you, don't feel bad because actually anywhere from 10 to 60% of people with OCD do have religious obsessions and compulsions. And um, I'll give you a few of the most common ones. Um, uh, cursing God or Jesus with profanity or blasphemy, envisioning Jesus on the cross with an erection, the urge to deny your faith, the urge to sell your soul to the devil, or maybe the thought that you already have, feeling like you're gonna lose control during an, a religious service, thoughts about harm or violence in a religious context. If any of this resonates with you, I would really encourage you to head over to my website and take a free scrupulosity quiz. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below, but go ahead and take that quiz because it's gonna help you know the likelihood if you have scrupulosity or not. So the question, why do you have these bad religious thoughts? It's actually a really good question, but the answer can be a little complex. Uh, scrupulosity is a, a theme that surfaces within obsessive compulsive disorder. So within that broader framework of OCD, researchers aren't entirely sure what causes OCD. But what they do know is that there is a biological or genetic component to it, and there's also an environmental aspect. So it seems like there's some people who are um, biologically predisposed to have obsessive compulsive tendencies, and then there can also be some environmental factors that kind of trigger those anxieties to begin. So we don't know the exact mechanism for why people get OCD. We do know that there is a biological component and there is an environmental aspect, um, but the exact mechanism of how that works, we don't know. What's important for us and what we do know is that when we have these bad religious thoughts, it's not a sin. Typically, people that have scrupulosity, they really get so stressed out and distressed about having these thoughts, and they try very hard to make them go away. Um, and so obviously, there's no sense of cherishing or enjoying those bad religious thoughts. And that's a really good tip for us to know that it's not a sinful uh, experience. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says that the Word of God is able to discern the thoughts and intents of the heart. And it's really important for those of us with scrupulosity to remember that God does it better than we do. God knows better than us whether we meant to think that thought or not. And I'm speaking to you as a survivor of scrupulosity myself, right? And I know how it can go when we get these bad religious thoughts. Something enters the mind and we say, why did I get that thought? Did that thought come from me? No, I don't want that thought. I don't like that thought. It's not from me. But wait, I had the thought, so it must be coming from me, right? And I know very well how this can spin into several hours worth of obsession and compulsion about it. What's important to know is that God understands where our thoughts are coming from better than we do. So we get, we're getting hung up on this loop of trying to figure ourselves out when God already knows what's going on and he understands that scrupulosity is not a faith problem. It's fundamentally an anxiety disorder that's hijacking our faith experience. I've seen people get really hung up on their scrupulosity, on these obsessions and compulsions, the blasphemous thoughts or these ugly, terrible religious ideas that come to, come to mind. 
um, it's really important that you do get help because um, fundamentally, like I was saying, this is a mental health condition that can be treated. You can move past it. Um, however, most people never do get treatment for their OCD because um, there's typically such a stigma surrounding OCD. Um, there's shame, there's embarrassment, and it's still not as well understood as other disorders like depression or generalized anxiety. So they're estimating that less than 10% of people with OCD actually get treatment. And that's really sad because with treatment, you can't actually um, get much better. The problem is that you should seek treatment because the cure for OCD, it can be quite counterintuitive. And um, actually it's difficult to implement on your own because it can feel very unnatural for the obsessive compulsive brain to actually do what it needs to do in order to get better. So for that reason, I just really wanna encourage you, don't, don't suffer by yourself, get treatment and talk to, um, talk to a medical expert about obsessive compulsive disorder. If you're having recurrent distressing intrusive thoughts about religion, what you need to know is that it's not your fault and you didn't do something wrong to make this happen. But at the same time, there are a lot of things you can do to move forward and get better from it. So I'd again encourage you to head over to my website and take a free scrupulosity quiz and also check out the free resources that I have there about dealing with scrupulosity. You could also uh, subscribe to this channel because I'll be putting out more videos about how to deal with the spiritual anxiety associated with religious OCD. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.